is up. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the episode, and welcome to my virtual reality art studio. Today, we're going to make some cool art in VR. Now, if you're interested in what I use for hardware or software, I'll list that at the bottom of the screen and in the description below. Now, I have a theme. I polled my social media. Ocean was the winning theme, so that's my starting point here. I have a rough idea in my head. Uh, I always have ideas, so let's just see what happens, man. All right. So I've moved the camera now so you can see a little better of how I'm going to put this together. You kind of have my view here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize and move the environment as I need. And uh, I can always reset it back to this, this view here so you see the whole entire thing. Now I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be working with some big wide strokes here. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's see what kind of color we got going on. Oh yeah. Let's start out with some more pale colors, but it's it's ocean theme, and I know you might be thinking to yourself, boy, that's a lot of reds. Well, you'll you'll get the idea here. So let's see where we're at. There's where that stroke is. Right there. So we're gonna work from it. We'll do some big bold colors. And I'm pulling them out past the, the frame so that the whole frame is definitely filled up. And plus it's just, I don't know, it's just a nice way of, all right, let's change our color though, a little, a little darker. And I'm just laying in some very, Very big patches of color because fixing to start making some other bold decisions here since that's our horizon line we're gonna start working on the sky now we're gonna have a little fun I'm gonna do some big colors first and then we'll go from there oh yeah all right so this is gonna have a lot of drama that's for sure I'm going to be playing with it. But you can see how this stuff just kind of hangs there. You know, I can zoom in a little bit. You can see these strokes. See, they're kind of, there's dimension to them. And what I do is I use that to my advantage. Now, I've kind of gone into the painting here because we're going to play with the sky some. So, we're going to go more of a magenta tone it down some because we're going to come back with some brights well that's a little more purple than I was thinking but we can make a transition color you know we're just working with old colors right now so let's get up in here uh, nope don't like that one there we go there we go that's better now <coughs> let's see All right, so I'm just playing with big pieces of color here, just having fun, you know. Um, I'm going to be pulling some of that color further down into what I'm doing here. As a matter of fact, I'll start doing it now. I'm going to start just making some big decisions. we got to figure out where things are and what we're doing now. Since that's up my horizon line, I know this looks opposite because this ain't going to be the water, but you'll see what I'm doing. I'm using the blues to contrast all the contrast all the brightness I'm going to have in the sky. So let's switch a brush here and we're going to start getting a little smaller. We're going to start getting a little more brave here. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So, bold sky. I 
think I want clouds coming down through here. We're gonna bring them. I kind of like them when they get all strung out like that. But once again, I'm gonna go back. You know, this ain't the end of a lot of what I do. I've had to learn how to be more of an engineer than anything. All right, let's see how that's looking. Yeah, there we go. We're starting to get the drama we were looking for. Let's get a, let's get a little bit in here. Now, we need a point of light. And I'm really thinking like that. Needs to be fire. Now, <clears throat> we usually work in thirds. So we're just going to make a big decision to say the sun's right there. We're going to drag it out just a little. That's where he lives. He's right there. Now we're going to play off of that. Make a brush a little smaller. Start pulling out maybe, I don't know, clouds. You know, we got those dramatic ones in the top, so let's see. We're going to get pure white for the very spot the sun is. Get him right there. Okay. That's looking cool. Alright, so we're going to play off of this. We got the orange. Let's go orange, orange. Just right in here because the predominant color is still going to be red in this piece. But yeah, I like how this is turning. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And I see that's dramatic. Now we're really going to start playing with red. I'm going to switch brushes to my favorite brush, this coarse bristle brush. It just makes, makes me happy, man, because it's all rough. The, the trigger that you're using to apply it is pressure sensitive so I can I can apply more or less to an extent anyway I mean there's limits on this on this stuff but now let's start doing the red I'm gonna start following those clouds that I drug out Just having fun with it, keeping it loose, keeping my hand from being too stiff, and just playing with it. Man, I, I like that. Boy, talk about fire. That's just blazing. But I think it needs the touch. A in there. Nope, I didn't do it. Yeah, that's all right. I'm not going to fuss with it too much just because we're having fun. Now, we got a pretty cool looking sky, but now we need to drag it out. We're going to drag it out so that it fades a little bit more. And I've got a, I got a little brush I use for that, but it, boy, it's one of them ones you got to be careful with. All right, it's a soft highlighter. Make it as, keep it in the red tint, but I'm making it as dark as it'll go on the red side. That helps it not apply too much. And we're going to start drawing stuff out. So let's go big a little bit. You see how that red starts laying in there, but you got to be careful because too much of it and it'll overpower and actually start turning white. So it's one of those things you, you kind of learn to play with it but see how it's pulling those colors out and it's it's really just starting to add I'm just going back and forth still have the trigger down I'm still still doing the same thing just pulling my arm back and forth to 
get it to blend. There we go. I see how that looks. I see that's just that's great. We need to get a little, a little in here. So let's go with more of the gold. We're gonna bring it down. Be real careful. And I'm just gonna jiggle my hand to get it to start laying in there. You can see it starting. It starts blending those colors together. Now, if I wanted, if I wanted it to be not so subtle, which is now is really the time for that, since I've got the gold. The more you drag it up, the brighter that's going to be when you use this highlight brush. So, see how it really just pulls out that yellow. You got to be real sparing with it, because it'll. Now we're going to be a little brave. A little yellow up in here. It's hitting the clouds. Let's see. Yeah, I like it. Let's see how that looks. Let's see, that's great. Okay, cool. We're going to pull the sky out just a little bit more, but I'm going to use that coarse brush. And uh, I'm just going to keep from being too, too serious about it. Let's get a Get it darker, red, maybe not so much pigment. I'm just going to drag this out a bit. Help give it some drama. Just pull it up. And uh, that's the cool thing about VR art. See, I can, I can actually paint behind the other strokes that I've made. You can see as I'm doing that it's laying in in front of it and behind it as I go. And that's part of what I that's part of what I kind of uh, play off of with my styles. I use that dimension I use that dimension to my advantage. Now I like that. That'll work. That's cool. We're saying that's good for the sky. Now we gotta make some big decisions on the rest. We gotta get going. So what I wanted back behind was I wanted let's go with kind of a deep turquoise and I'm just going to keep it the bristle brush right now what I wanted was I wanted to have like a lighthouse over on the left third so we're going to shrink this down so I can work a little quicker I got my brush you know I can size it with my thumb so I'm gonna keep it kind of small. That's a horizon. I'm wanting a lighthouse like right here. So we're gonna start laying that in. Now I see where I want that. And I think I'm gonna have some cliffs coming up off of here. So I'm gonna do the cliffs here. That'd be cool. And then I think I'm going to have some coming down here to the ocean. This is going to kind of come around like that. Alright, that's kind of the plan. So let me lay in some color real quick. We're going to switch to one of these big fat brushes. And... Uh, I'm going to keep it that color. I'm just going to make it dark because I'm going to use this as the base color for all the color that I put in. So I've got my horizon. I've got my sky. Man, I like that sky. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's start laying in some color. And I'm going to start getting it in kind of quick. So I'm just doing big, big pieces here. I'm just laying it all. Just letting it, just having fun with it. And letting my hand kind of go crazy here and not worrying too much about anything being perfect that's the fun part or at least what I try to make it make it fun you know in, in any profession there's times that you got to try to do something as perfect as you can so those demands are still there so it's fun sometimes when you do something that you, you're just doing it for the fun of it 
just doing it for your own your own sanity I guess you'd say I guess that's why I do it I know sometimes that if I didn't if I didn't get some of these ideas out of my head I think sometimes maybe I'd go crazy but you know I'm not ready to cut off an ear or nothing that's for sure okay oh and by the way these are some brushes I chose some of them in some colors and just to make it kind of quicker when I'm doing the, the colors on the back end really all I'm doing here is just setting this up now I like what we got we're gonna start getting a little more specific about this lighthouse so let's have a little fun let's see you know there's a way for me to make a straight line if I want to so let's do that that'd be a good base yeah, I see. I like it. I see. Okay, cool. All right, so we got to work on this a little bit. It needs help. <laughs> All right, so we're going to switch to a little bit different color. I'm going to go ahead and start laying in some of these, some of these colors that I know I want on it. So let's just go after it. Let's just get crazy. I'm going to. Oh, I still got the straight edge on. That'd be fun. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to start having fun with it. Too much. There we go. So sunlight was hitting the rocks. I say rocks. I'm imagining it's rocks out here by the lighthouse, I guess. Anyway, they'd be hitting right in there. I like it. Be some sun hitting the top of this hill. Think right in there. Maybe down to the water here. I don't like it last part. Let's do that. Yeah, there. there we go. Kind of give the impression there's some rocks out there. Okay, let's get something on the lighthouse here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the since I got this color where I'm gonna want it kind of shining off of him, and then uh, I'm gonna add the dark. Let's see here. There we go. He's coming alive now. He can put a little railing on there. Look at that. So now we got our lighthouse. We're going to add him a light because that kind of kind of defeats purpose here to do it without his light going. So we're going to make it kind of a yellowish tint light and I'm going to keep it dark. I'm going to start with that highlighter brush that I use once again. I know what it's going to do, so I'm going to be careful. I want to go a little darker if I can. I'll be careful here as much as I can. I'm just kind of making circles until I, it's real subtle, so I'm filling it in, kind of giving it a glow. Hey, that's cool. I don't know. I don't know if I like all that glow. Let me just leave it like that. All right, we need a little bit of a little spot of almost white in there though, that's for sure. Right. There's the lighthouse. Okay. So all right. We got horizon, lighthouse, general landscape. Now we're gonna start pulling some of this water down into what would be the or pulling some of the water. Pulling some of the sky down into what would be the water. So I'm gonna start out with that pinched brush. And we're just gonna go red, man. And I'm just gonna play with where where I think it would now you see how my controller's disappearing? I'm going behind that, that piece that I painted, so 
and I'm just gonna imagine you know this is all just out of my head so we're just imagining where that water would reflect the orange and the reds in the sky and uh, let's just say it's going around the rocks a little bit And I know that it's going to want to reflect a lot of the sky to the right side. So I'm going to be working the brights to the right and bringing these cooler colors from the left side down. But yeah, it's going to be cool. I need to get on with it, man. I like doing this so much, it's hard to keep these episodes short as I want. You know, I want to keep them. I want to keep them, you know, 30 minutes or so, but we'll see. We'll see how this one turns out. Okay, so this is the... And a little bit of waves here. So, because the waves curve like they do, they'll be catching some of that light that normally wouldn't be reflecting. and it's behind the hill but that curve it's going to pick up some of that so all right that's cool like that. all right so we're gonna switch to a, a deeper red and that brush i like again and we're just gonna lay some in here and see how it see how it acts with the other yeah i like that Get some back up in here. Very nice. Now let's see what we're looking at. See, that's a lot different. Now it's starting to look too much, too flat. I need to get some breaks in there. With some of the color that's not reflecting the sky, so we're gonna, gonna go with kind of a turquoise, but I'm gonna bring the tone, bring the pigment down. Let's see how that does. think that'll work you know it's uh it's breaking it up and kind of pull this color behind over here where these other things are and use it to break up that say that that's it looks a lot better it's not so flat and uh yeah like that all right so this is where waves are coming in to this cove this here so let's see that's cool oh, oh, look at that. yeah we're gonna use it to add a little bit of foliage and stuff here on the beach and uh you know use it to our advantage it's a really good brush for this especially if you kind of move your hand around kind of i don't know like you got a like you got a bug on your hand and you're trying to shake it off <laughs> i guess that's the best way to describe it Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Let's get a little bit over here by the, by the lighthouse. I still need to fill in the foreground of this this cliff base. But I can get to that in a minute. Now I want to make this brush a little bit smaller because you know this is further away and I don't want it to look obviously like I didn't care about changing the brush size. That's cool though. That looks good. I like the. I like the foliage. That's cool. All right, let's finish off the rocks here in the water. I'm going to choose a 
that brush. Let's just back over here. And I'm just playing with it. I'm imagining, you know, how the waves would kind of come into this cove. And that's all. I'm, it's all, it's all just imagination, man. Okay. Now, let's finish off these caves. I think caves clips over here. <laughs> caves, they're caves, man. Okay. Let's see, so maybe. I don't know, this way. And all I'm kind of doing is just filling it. You know, I kind of decided where I wanted those highlights. And I decided where I was going to fill it in to kind of finish this. You know, it's once again, this is all about dimension, or, or this style that I, I don't know, I guess it's a style, but it, you know, I, I look at it like it, I'm playing with dimension. I can put strokes behind strokes in front of others. There's limits to this software, but it ain't too bad. All right, let's see where we're at now. I'm liking that. We need, we need some foliage. And uh, I'm gonna keep it out like this. Let me get the let me get the brush. And I'm gonna zoom out here. I'm even gonna zoom it out some more. All right. So we're gonna play with our foliage brush here. need to get these these little jokers here I need to get out of here I don't really need them okay <laughs> I love tossing this stuff away okay so I got an idea of how I want this to go so what I want is there to be something here foreground something over here And what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and add, I'm going to add some trunks and stuff, you know, to make these really feel more like trees. Right now they're just kind of hanging there. But it kind of works too, so, you know, I'll probably just worry about that more on these things in the foreground. Alright, so let's, uh, I kind of like this color I have down here. Let me pick this color. I like that. Needs a little more pigment. A little bit darker, so we're gonna go that way. All right, let's get our coarse brush and we're gonna try to finish up some sections here. So let's just say this is the beach, the color on the beach, and I'm gonna pull that up. This ain't a resort, man. The beach isn't, doesn't just stop at a defined spot all the time. Kind of has its own, kind of has its own mind. So. Yeah, I'm liking that. See, that's cool. Let's go a little bit darker. Let's see how that works out. Yeah. Because what I'm going to do is. I think we'll have like a path right here. Kind of. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. But I do want to. do want to do like a. I think a little bungalow. A little cabin or something here on the beach. Let's say that's looking nice. Alright. 
And, uh, let's see. Yeah. I chose that color, but we're going to get a bit darker because I want to do something. Let me take a look here. Okay. What I want to do is I want to add something right here. Because I'm trying to Well, I don't like that one. Hang on. I don't. I want to block the view of the bungalow, and I know where it's going. These things in front, we're going to really give them some darkness. To really emphasize the brightness of that sun and it on the water. It is cool. I like that. Let's get another, get another color here. I'm gonna just get this, just add a little variety, that's all. All right, now we need to get back to the adding some, some color. So I'm gonna switch to the pinch brush. We're gonna go bright, bright red. All right, so this is our view. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. I'm gonna zoom it out a little bit. And I'm gonna imagine where that sunlight would be hitting. These trees. I see that really makes it pop because it's adding that just the way a sunset can make everything look cool. Yeah, see, I like that. I'm gonna add a little bit over here. Just a little. I'm trying not to go too crazy because you can overdo this really easy, you know, just because it's such a strong, such a strong color, I mean, you know, especially in VR here, these colors are so vibrant that, that they can, they can be overpowering. To me, I, I love bright colors, so I'm all right. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So let's go with a little darker red. And we're going to go with our soft highlighter. And I'm going to make it kind of big. And we're going to... Oh, not dark enough. Need to be dark dark. Alright. And we use that to add a little bit too. Just like the sunlight is dancing off of stuff. Just to help soften it a little bit, you know, things ain't always so so perfect. Okay, let's add our bungalow, man. All right, I'm going to switch to the uh, pinched brush. All right, zoom in here. I'm going to say there it is, and there's there's that other other deal and let's say we're just gonna build it here and I kind of imagine there's a porch floor walls you know it would have a, a thatched roof kind of thing we're just gonna drag it back like that yeah that'd be cool and pilings underneath Alright, so that's that's where our deal's gonna be there. So let me fill that in real quick. Let's see. A little lighter color for this. That 
thatched roof, man. That's cool. It's gonna look good. All right. All right. I like that, but it's not dark enough on this one side. Because I wanted to add some light on and a window. Like that. Yeah, you can't see that. Dead gun. Alright. Well, we're going to have a little fun here. I'm going to see if I can grab all this stuff. And I'll just see if I can. Yeah, I didn't mean to grab that one piece. Okay. So we got a hold of it. Let's go back to our main view. Now you can see where it is in the piece. I'm going to move it out so it can be seen a little better. And it ain't got to be as big. Smaller is better. So we're going to move it to right there. Okay, I like that. Now, see, now it's subtle and you don't notice it so much. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a little bit of an edge to it. Let's see here. Just enough for you to notice it. Just where that sunlight would hit it. So it'd be hitting the, the edge of the porch. Back there. That's cool. I still want to put a light in there. So let's do that. Might as well keep it ready. Let's see if that would go. bit of brightness. There we go. I like that. Alright, let's add some tree trunks and some birds and I think we may just say this is done for time's sake. But let's see here. So we'll just go add a He's coming down there. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit. Just enough to keep it from looking crazy. Alright, let's get some birds in here, mate. Once again, I ain't worrying too much about them being perfect, so. Very cool. I'm gonna get those dudes. I'm gonna group them together so they ain't gonna get apart. Let's see how big we want them. Not that big, of course, unless we're talking about a monster movie or something. Let's put them like that. Let me make another. All right, let's see how we look. I, I'm going to say, well, we are going to go ahead and add just a little bit. I mean, there's got to be something because this is so bright 
it, it would have to reflect a little bit so I'm gonna keep it that pinch flat and we're just gonna see what this does hmm Ain't too bad. Let's see. It ain't, it ain't too bad. Now we can we can kind of give it the idea, the impression that there's waves starting to crest here because they would catch they would catch some of that some of that yellow. All right. Okay. Good deal. I like that. Awesome. Uh, man, we're going to call that one done. We sign it. We'll zoom in here. <laughs> and zoom in here. And sign it. Alright, I think that'll work. Well, I think we'll call that one done. I think it came out pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed checking it out. I'll take some pics and some video so you can see the final piece on full display. Thanks for spending a little time with me. Take care. God bless. And keep on rocking.